I'm up on the drainage to what I'm calling Clarence King Lake. And I haven't been taking many pictures or movies or anything here, but um, down there is the lake that all this drains into. Granted, for the most part, it's pretty smooth, easy to access, very polished, very smooth. And, uh, but nice striations along the side here. I don't know how this is coming out in the movie, but uh, it's pretty neat. We're heading up there. Clarence King Lake is, uh, well, not just at that ridge, but in that direction. We'll check in then. I'm here at this this ramp. Um, boy, hard to describe where to go. But basically, I think I'm going to go right here, kind of in under there, follow along, and then kind of zigzag back up to reach the saddle. It's my plan. I do expect there will be some markers along the way, some ducks that somebody's left. Taking quite a bit of time here, just kind of studying the terrain and the, that ramp route. Hope I haven't wasted time, but important to do it right. You can see the abyss down here to this other lake. It's a glorious day out. Temperatures just right, slight breeze, just enough to kind of compensate for the sweat that I'm building. Off we go. Well, I'm a little further along. I'm at the, I'm going to call it the entrance to the ramp. And uh, as I get closer, the route is presenting itself. I always believe that. There's a way. I think this is my way. I'm going to go right by that rock overhang. Uh, hopefully it's in the frame, but anyway, I'll go by that and then uh, skip on along. You can see kind of a line there. It's um, at that point up there, 12.149, I'm at uh, 11.769, so that's about 400 feet of elevation gain right there to get me to the saddle. And uh, a little winded, but I feel good. I'm going to take a good break when I get up there and uh, kind of assess what's on the other side. I'm at that rock overhang. I think once I get past it, it should be kind of like what I'm on, um, you know, a decent ledge. Uh, I did suit up here. I've got the harness on, and uh, I got some webbing and, and so on. And, uh, you know, if I need to clip into the mountain, tie myself to uh, a flake or something like that, whether it's for a break or uh, whatever, or set up a rappel, I've got the rope. I can always rappel down to this, down to a point where I can get out. Um, so... I do feel comfortable I can get out of a jam if I'm if I encounter one. Better to be prepared than not. Well I'm at a fork. And the question is whether to take the ramp more or less straight down that way or to go up this way. And in scouting, I see that nature has provided and there's a pile of rocks up there. So I think that's my route. Thank you to whoever left that for me. I appreciate that. This is beautiful. Elevation now uh, 11861. And I got to go up to 12129. So what's that? About uh, 250 feet, I guess. My goal was to be up there at 10. It's 927. So I'm not going to feel bad if I uh, slack a little bit here. Haven't run into any jams. That uh, overhang was a little tricky. It was not pretty getting through it, but uh, you know the end result is what counts. 
and uh, I'm here. I'm up at that rock pile from my last movie, and I believe this is my turning point to get me up to the saddle. I'm just going to go right up there and take a break. I'm at the saddle now. Um, been here about 20 minutes. Got my breath caught up. I've had a cliff bar, some water. Just looking across here, there's Gardner. Looking down into uh, Cedar Grove is out there. Here's our objective. Fortunately, these mountains don't come with instructions. You just got to kind of use your intuition. I've been studying it since I got here to try and figure out the best way. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to bump along here, maybe kind of to the almost the top of it, and then follow that ridge along, and uh, and then shoot straight up. I'll probably be pretty close to the ridge far enough back that I'm not going to freak myself out with looking over it. Beautiful sky. I'm not going to go to the end to show you the way I came up, but um, the route did present itself. Nothing tricky. Mostly it was just uh, exhausting. I do have my harness on. I've got some webbing attached to me, just right quick handy. If I need to tie myself to the mountain, I can. And uh, I got a rope. I think Vinny's trained me well. I got some good skills. Hopefully, I won't get into a jam, but if I do, I'll be able to get out of it. So I'm going to start heading up. Alright, I've come up probably about 200 feet from the saddle. Still have perhaps as much as 800 feet. I think that's right. I don't know if my watch is correct or not. But if it is, I got 800 feet to go. You can see the summit block. The rock has been really pretty good. There's nothing, uh, you know, despite what it looks like, nothing treacherous. Um, you know, no overhangs or anything. I've, I've had plenty of uh, no no exposure, so I really feel safe. Uh, nothing loose, so that's good. It's good solid pieces here. Plenty to hold on to. Um, so I'm I'm just going to keep on going and uh, check progress along the way. Well, now would be one of those times where you wonder what kind of a jam you got yourself into. Our summit block is basically right up there. I'm going to go through here. I think this is the squeeze chimney that is referred to. I can get across over here and up and, I'll, and just kind of squeeze myself up there. And uh, should be there. Well, nature provides. Up there I see a sling with a carabiner. This is, uh, this is a rappel station here. It'll get me down. So, uh, that'll be good. The only problem is I've got only 50 feet of rope. Uh, I'm sorry, 100 feet, so, for rappel. But, you know, 
if I need to, I can get from that down to another point where then I can tie in with some uh, webbing that I've got and uh, be good to go. So that's that's perfect that that's right there. It also tells me I'm in the right spot. It's been a hellacious climb up to here. I'm up at uh, what you would call a squeeze chimney. And when they say squeeze chimney, it's going to be a squeeze. So I'm going to take my backpack off now squeeze through there and I should be home free. I believe that is the summit block right there. Well, if this seems like a scene out of 127 hours, it's because it is. <laughs> you might say I'm in a jam. Um, I'm going to make it just fine. Just wanted to check in. I made it. I don't ever want to do that again. Boy, that was that was grueling. Not dangerous. I know, Mom. <laughs> but no, really, no, at no point did I feel in jeopardy. But uh, but just what a struggle to uh, squeeze through that. Got the pack up here. I do have one injury. Got a little bleed around my finger. That actually happened before the crack. I tried to go up this way and uh, that wasn't going to happen. So not bad. I don't think I'm too scratched up. Got blood all over me from my finger but that's that's all that it is. It's just the one finger. It's a little scratch. Just a flesh wound. Alright, summit block. I think is that guy right there. So I'm, I'm heading there. Here's the summit block. Got to go up that way right there. Nature does provide. Right above that crack where I was, was another rappel station. So I'm on the right track. This is, uh, this is the place to be. I need to take a look there. I need to get up on that flake first and uh, see what the next step is, literally. All right, I'm almost there to the point where they call the delicate maneuver as if I haven't already experienced that. Uh, well, I don't know what to think. I'm up here. Um, I put a sling over the top here to kind of give me a foot assist. It's not real good. I can't comfortably figure out my next move. Um, I think this is my turnaround point right here. That's the summit block, but I'm not going to see the top of it. But I will live to climb another day. So I'm going to down climb here and uh, then I'll I've wrap this up. I've opted to not um, pursue what could be a dangerous thing myself. Any more dangerous than what I've done. Um, I did promise Holly I wouldn't do anything stupid. I've violated that rule many times today and I still need to get down. So that's it. There's Clarence King. Summit block. It's just a little bit beyond what I feel comfortable doing um, myself today, being solo. And uh, I've already taken enough chances. So, just kind of looking around here. I don't see a summit register. I looked around. I don't see one. Uh, I did write a little note here. And I'll just leave this. And with that, I'm going to hydrate and head down. Wish me luck. Okay. We're looking down into the abyss. Um, my way down, I believe, is this way. I'll find it. It's not that way.
Right, I had the camera put away uh, in the pack. I didn't want to have it on my waist belt and uh, gum things up while I was doing the rappels. I did two rappels. Um, I can't see where they are, but basically down that, you know, the open area there. And uh, I set up a third one here. So altogether 150 feet that I've rappelled. Looking down here, this is uh, this is kind of manageable. So I think I can kind of do some surfing. Um, I think I'm going to basically go down this, uh, you know, the loose one here to the extent I feel safe. I kind of bring me even with my point at the saddle and then just traverse it. Just getting back to the saddle now. It's a long way down. Uh, I think it took me about a half an hour. And boy, I just slid down. All the loose stuff, I just surfed it. We've got, I felt a couple of raindrops. Uh, I want to get the heck out of here before this stuff develops if it's going to. So, no, no more pictures or movies or anything. I'm just going to concentrate on getting out of here. We're in the tent now because it just started to rain. I'm going to put a band-aid on my injury from today I sustained. On Clarence King. We're trying to wait out the rain and see if we get over to um, Ray Lakes. That was the plan today. Hey, Lee.